After you have selected the most suitable location for your electronic balance, the next step is to ensure it is level. You always want to confirm that your balance is fully level before any weighing process, as an unlevel balance can produce incorrect weight readings and can lead to weighing either too much or too little of your ingredients. To check the level of your electronic balance, you will need to consult the level indicator. The electronic balance is leveled when the air bubble is within the circle on the indicator and ideally when it is perfectly centered in the middle of the circle. The balance that I am using has two adjustable feet in the back. However, there are some models with four adjustable feet. These adjustable feet will allow you to adjust the height of the balance and in turn allow you to compensate for any minor imperfections of the countertop. First off, it's important to know which direction will lower and raise the balance feet. To decrease the height of the balance feet, you would turn the feet counterclockwise and to increase the height, you would turn the feet clockwise. To start, it works well to begin with all the feet at the lowest possible position and check the position of the air bubble in the level indicator. The position of the air bubble will let us know how the balance height needs to be adjusted. The position of the air bubble indicates that the balance is too high in that direction. This means that you will either need to lower this point or raise the rest of the balance. For example, if the air bubble is in the 6 o'clock position, this means that the front of the balance is higher than the back. Therefore, it is not level vertically. It is, however, level horizontally, as the bubble is not towards the 1 o'clock or 11 o'clock positions. Since this balance has only two adjustable back feet, I cannot lower the front of the balance. Therefore, I need to increase the height of the back feet. To achieve this, I will turn both back feet clockwise until the air bubble is also vertically level. Now, if the air bubble is in the 3 o'clock position, this is indicating that the right side of the balance is higher than the left side, meaning the balance is vertically level but not horizontally. To adjust the bubble towards the left, I am going to turn the right back foot counterclockwise to lower the right side, but also turn the left back foot clockwise to raise the left side. This will allow us to level the balance horizontally without compromising the vertical leveling. If the air bubble is in the 12 o'clock position, this translates to the back of the balance being too high. Therefore, I would need to lower the back two feet. In order to lower the back, I am going to turn both back feet counterclockwise until it is also vertically level. Now, if the air bubble is in the 9 o'clock position, this means that the left side of the balance is too high. This time, we need to lower the left side of the balance and raise the right side. To achieve this, we will turn the left back foot counterclockwise and the right back foot clockwise simultaneously until the air bubble has been centered in the circle. Using these simple guidelines, you can play around and adjust the feet of your electronic balance to ensure it is level according to the level indicator. After you have leveled the balance, it's time to move on to the calibration. LP3 Network, a global leader in continuing healthcare education.